place value disk can also show the value of a number. This is a place value disk that represents 100. When you have a column or row, you can count them up and that'll give you the total value of the hundreds place, 100, 200, 300, 400. So that we know that there are four hundreds. A tens place value disk is green and has a 10 in it. Once again, you count the column or the row, and that gives you the total value of the tens place, 10, 20, 30. The ones place is made of red disks, and each one is worth one. Count them up to get the value of the ones place. One, two, three, four, five, six. So the ones place is worth six. We can put plus signs between the values and this will turn it into expanded form. So 400 plus 30 plus six is 436. Place value disk can also be handy to help students understand the value of numbers if they have to draw them. Let's look at that next. Students can then look at a new number, 532, and draw a place value disk to represent that number. This is a place value chart. The students will have to draw circles and put small 100s in them to equal 100. Circle, 100 circle 100. They have to draw five of these to represent five hundreds. Then we look at the tens place. There are three tens, so the students must draw three circles and write tens in them. Last but not least, two ones. The students must draw two circles and put ones in them. This is a picture representation of place value desks to explain the value of the number 532.